In this video, we will explain how to log in the web configuration panel of Ad Series PBX and how to configure the initial settings. The default IP address of Ad Series PBX is 192.168.5.150. Please make sure your computer is on the network segment of 5. We can see the computer is now on the network segment of 6. We need to change it to 5 to log in the web interface of Ad Series PBX. The computer's IP address has been changed. Now open the web browser. Fill in the default IP address and press Enter. As Ad Series uses HTTPS protocol for login, you will be prompted certificate error. Please continue to this page or trust this site to go on. Choose the language. And enter the username admin and password password, both with lowercase. Click Login. Open Settings, Network. And we will see the default network mode for S-Series is Single. And the WAN interface is disabled. You need to configure the network settings according to your environment. Now let's change the IP address of S-Series to the local network. Click Save, and you will be prompted to reboot the device. When the device is rebooting, we change the IP address of the computer to its original address. The device has restarted. You can log in with the new IP address. You will be asked to change the initial password. Try to use a combination of lowercase and uppercase letters as well as numbers. Click Next. In here, you can enter your email address to receive forget password email. Next, set up the system's email address. This email will be used to send and receive emails for the PBX. Enter the email address and the server information. Click Test to test the configuration. If the test failed, please check the email configuration and make sure the PBS can access Internet. Click Save. You will be logged out automatically. Enter the new password to log in. Now change the system's date and time. Enter Settings, System, Date and Time. You can configure it either with NTP or manually. Let's see automatic synchronization first. Choose the time zone in the pull-down list, for example, GMT0 time zone. Disable daylight saving time. 
Leave the NTP server as it is or enter a different server. Click Save and reboot the system. Manual setting is also quite simple. Click Set Date and Time manually. Choose the date and set the time. Click Save and reboot the device. S-Series supports voice prompts of multiple languages. Open Settings, PBX, Voice Prompts, and System Prompt. We can see S-Series supports file upload and online download. We recommend that you download the prompt online. Make sure the PPS can access internet. Click Download Online Prompt, and you will see all the system prompts that S-Series supports and its version information. Click the Download icon to get the latest prompt package. The prompt downloaded will appear in the prompts list. You can also record your own system prompt and upload it to the PBX. If you want to record your own system prompt, please contact eStar support. Now select one of the prompt to make it the default prompt. Individual extension user can select a prompt different from the system default. If the user of extension 1000 wishes to use Spanish system prompt, he or she can make the change on extension edit page.